Welcome to Rhode Island, the smallest state in the United States, but home to some of the most beautiful places in the country. In this video, we'll explore the 10 best places to visit in Rhode Island. You may know us as the Ocean State, but did you know our official nickname is the biggest little state in the Union? We may be small, but we pack a punch when it comes to things to see and do. Whether you're looking to explore historic landmarks, relax on a beautiful beach, or indulge in some delicious seafood, Rhode Island has it all. So grab a cup of Dell's Lemonade, take a stroll on the Newport Cliff Walk, or whatever you choose. You're sure to fall in love with the charm and character of the state. So come on down to Rhode Island, where even our tagline makes us sound like we have something to prove. But first don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Starting off our list at number 10 is Beavertail Lighthouse. Located in Jamestown, this iconic lighthouse has been guiding ships safely to shore since the late 18th century. Visitors can take a tour of the lighthouse and learn about its rich history while enjoying panoramic views of the Atlantic Ocean. The lighthouse has a museum that displays maritime artifacts, and the surrounding area offers great opportunities for fishing and hiking. Despite the lighthouse not being the tallest, it's well-preserved. If you climb the tower, a $5 donation is required, and when the tower is open to climbing, you'll have breathtaking views from the top. You'll feel like you're in Maine, enjoying the rocky coast, or a beautiful sunset. Coming in at number 9 is Mohegan Bluffs, located on the southern shore of Block Island. These majestic cliffs rise over the ocean and offer breathtaking views of the surrounding area. The sand is 141 steps down, though, so it takes some effort to get there. But at the base of the 200-foot bluffs, the beach is considered one of the most beautiful on the island, offering a secluded place to swim and surf. Visitors can take a scenic pipe to the top of the bluffs or you can also explore the nearby Southeast Lighthouse. You can find the steps at the Bluff Overlook. The plaque commemorates the bluff's history Mohegan Bluffs was named for the Native American Battle of 1590, in which 40 Mohegan Raiders were said to have been driven off the cliffs to their deaths by the Manasans. Number 8 on our list is Woonsocket, a charming city located in the northern part of Rhode Island. Visitors can explore the historic downtown area, which features many beautiful 19th century buildings, as well as a variety of restaurants and shops. It's also home to the Museum of Work and Culture. Located in a former textile mill, built in 1915, which explores the history of the city's industrial past and the contributions of French-Canadian immigrants to the area. As a visitor center for the Blackstone Valley National Corridor, the museum offers a unique look at the history of the area's industrial revolution. Street and Arts and Cultural Center is a landmark building that once served as the hub of the Sentinel List movement. The center boasts stunning frescoes inspired by the Sistine Chapel with beautiful stained glass and artwork. Next, you can visit the Stadium Theater Performing Arts Center and Conservatory, a fully restored historic vaudeville theater. Although the balconies upstairs may be a little difficult for some to navigate due to the steep steps, the seating is fantastic no matter where you sit. At number 7, we have Narragansett Beaches. This coastal town is home to several beautiful beaches, including Scarborough State Beach and Roger Go Wheeler State Beach. Visitors can relax on the sand, swim in the ocean, or enjoy a variety of water sports. The beach is renowned for its surfing, but it's not just surfers who frequent the area. Sunbathers and swimmers also flock to this spot. The beachfront stretches for a mile and covers nearly 20 acres, drawing as many as 10,000 visitors on a hot weekend day. The town also features a historic lighthouse and several great seafood restaurants, making it a perfect spot for a day trip or weekend getaway. Coming in at number 6 is Coventry, a rural town located in the western part of the state. Visitors can explore the many historic sites and natural attractions in the area, including the Coventry Greenway, a 14-mile-long rail trail that winds through scenic woodlands and wetlands. Well, the towers are a surviving fragment of the former Narragansett Pier Casino, built in the 1880s. The towers were listed on the National Register of Historic Places on November 25, 1969. Also home to the Nathaniel Green Homestead, a historic house museum that celebrates the life of the Revolutionary War hero who was born and raised in the town. Number 5 on our list is Middletown, a picturesque town located on Aquidneck Island. Visitors can explore the many beautiful beaches and parks in the area, including Satchis Beach and Norman Bird Sanctuary. With its 242 acres, Satchis Point National Wildlife Refuge is home to a variety of habitats, including saltwater marshes, 
grasslands, sandy beaches, and dunes. There are beaches in Middletown, Satchus Beach, locally known as Second Beach, a south-facing beach with concessions, showers, and bathrooms, and the west part is known as Surfer's End. Third Beach is an east-facing beach with fewer waves and picnic tables. In addition, Newport Vineyards and Prescott Farm are also good places to visit as well. The town is also home to the historic Whitehall Museum House, a beautiful Georgian-style mansion that dates back to the 18th century. At number 4, we have Colt State Park, located in Bristol, Rhode Island. This beautiful park features over 464 acres of rolling meadows, saltwater marshes, and rocky shorelines. Visitors can enjoy hiking, picnicking, or simply taking in stunning views. It was once owned by industrialist Samuel P. Colt, the nephew of firearms manufacturer Samuel Colt. With its wide open spaces, beautiful wildlife, and many cooking sites, Colt State Park offers something for everyone. For instance, there are tennis courts, walking paths, and baseball and soccer fields. The park also features a historic farm museum and several great spots for fishing and kayaking. The number third spot on our list of the best places to visit in Rhode Island and Newport. The city is one of nine coastal towns in Rhode Island that make up what is known as the Classic Coast. It's home to some of the most beautiful Gilded Age mansions in the country, including The Breakers, Marble House, and Rosecliff. It's a tourist hotspot packed with incredible activities and sights. Exploring Newport by car is a great way to get a sense of the city, and the 10-mile drive, also known as The Drive, takes you past major attractions. The drive ends with a cliff walk, and you can stretch your legs on the cliff walk, a 3.5-mile paved walking path that offers incredible views of the Atlantic Ocean, which means that there is no shortage of beaches, including Easton's Beach, ideal for families, and Gooseberry Beach, great for exploring tidal pools and rock scrambling. Collins Beach near the Castle Hill Lighthouse is popular among locals for offering incredible views of sunsets. Located on the eastern edge of Newport, Fort Adams is home to the internationally renowned Jazz Festival and Folk Festival, which are held in late July and August respectively. For those looking to try sailing, the National Sailing Hall of Fame and the Sailing Museum offer an introduction to the sport. Visitors can also explore the historic downtown area. At number two, we have Block Island, a popular summer destination located about nine miles off the southeast coast of Rhode Island. Visitors can enjoy stunning beaches, scenic hiking trails, and beautiful vistas throughout the island. A bit about island's history, the island was first inhabited by Narragansett Indians more than a thousand years ago, however, it wasn't until 1614 that Adrian Block, a Dutch explorer, charted the island and named it after himself. The island grew primarily as a fishing village and then as a tourist destination towards the end of the 1800s. It's still a popular tourist destination known for its biking, hiking, sailing, fishing, and small-town charm. Over 40% of the island has been set aside for conservation, and much of the northern part is a wildlife preserve. The island is also home to the historic Southeast Lighthouse and the Block Island Historical Society Museum, which explores the rich history of the island. Fun fact, Block Island was once marketed as the Bermuda of the North. Coming in at number one is Providence, the capital city of Rhode Island. Once a major hub for industry and organized crime, Providence has experienced a bit of a renaissance in recent years, reconnecting with its roots and paving the way forward to the future. Providence's attractions can be found in four distinct neighborhoods. Down City encompasses the core of the downtown region, as well as Water Place Park, Capitol Hill, and Providence Place Mall. College Hill, or the East Side, features some of the city's oldest and historically significant homes and architecture, as well as Brown University and the Rhode Island School of Design. Visitors can explore the many historic sites and cultural attractions in the city. The Reyes D. Museum is home to an extraordinary collection of artistic works, featuring more than 100,000 objects and other works of art by big names in the art world like Monet, Picasso, Warhol, and Manet. And Roger Williams Park is a 435-acre outdoor green space that features well-maintained scenery and plenty of outdoor activities. The park also has its very own Museum of Natural History and Planetarium, and the Botanical Center. The East Bay Bike Path is a 15-mile shoreside bike path that runs along Narragansett Bay. It is the first state-built bike path in Rhode Island and was completed in 1992. Thayer Street is a favorite destination for college students, locals, and tourists alike. 
home to 71 unique businesses, this trendy little thoroughfare has something for everyone. And there you have it, the 10 best places to visit in Rhode Island. From historic lighthouses to beautiful beaches and mansions, Rhode Island has something for everyone. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next adventure. In the end, don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon, share the video, also leave your valuable comment below. See you at the next one.